Welcome back again. Manchester United defenders Harry Maguire and Luke Shaw were both forced off with injuries during their Champions League loss to Bayern Munich. Elsewhere, Anthony Marshall is set to part ways with the Red Devils for free at the end of the season. United have the option to trigger a one-year extension when his contract expires next summer, but reports suggest that they do not intend to activate it. Meanwhile, Sir Jim Ratcliffe's takeover of the club will be confirmed soon, with the petrochemicals tycoon set to overhaul the stuttering football operation. Meanwhile, Manchester United were brutally trolled by Bayern Munich fans as they crashed out of the Champions League in historically bad style. The Red Devils suffered a 1-0 defeat to Thomas Tuchel's side on Tuesday evening, leaving them rock bottom of Group A. They were knocked out of the competition as a result and even failed to qualify for a place in the Europa League. And to make matters worse, they faced taunts from traveling Bayern Munich supporters at Old Trafford. Bayern fans started singing Football's Coming Home, a song synonymous with English football, immediately after Kingsley Coman scored the decisive goal. Football fans took to social media to react, with one person writing, elite level banter. Another added, this is hilarious, not just the fact it is embarrassing for United, but also that Germans have become so proficient at speaking English, they sound like them too. While one Man United fan commented, worst part tonight was we didn't have a go at Bayern, on the other side. De Gea itching to return. David De Gea has dropped a major hint he is ready to make a return to football. The Manchester United legend remains without a club after leaving the Red Devils in the summer. De Gea has reportedly rejected several offers since his United contract expired at the end of June. Newcastle are the latest club to be linked with the 33-year-old goalkeeper following Nick Pope's shoulder injury. Amid his links to the Magpies, De Gea has revealed he is continuing to train as he looks for a new club. The Spaniard shared a snap of a pair of goalkeeper gloves as he stood in a field. Alongside the picture, which also showed De Gea wearing football boots, he attached a sticker reading, Work, work, work. De Gea is understood to have previously snubbed a move to Saudi Arabia during his time as a free agent. He has also been tipped as a potential target for Barcelona in recent weeks. However, St. James's Park remains his most likely destination if he is to return to the Premier League, with De Gea reportedly open to the idea. Elsewhere, Manchester United fans applauded Bayern Munich supporters as the visitors launched an anti-Glazers protest tonight. The Red Devils lost 1-0 to the Bundesliga giants in the Champions League at Old Trafford. United knew that nothing but a victory would do if they were to progress into the knockouts, but they went down to a Kingsley Coman goal that dumped them out of Europe completely. However, there was one moment that brought fans from both teams together midway through the action. The large traveling section of Bayern supporters unfurled two huge banners protesting against the ticket prices at Old Trafford. One read, 50 pounds Glazers overkill, while one beneath it said, 20 is plenty. It did not take long for the home supporters to spot it, and that soon led to a huge applause before a chant of, we want Glazers out. United fans have protested for years over the club's ownership as they wait for Sir Jim Ratcliffe's deal to purchase a 25% stake in the club to go through. The Ineos chief will oversee football operations at United once that gets the green light but furious supporters still want the American Glazer family gone. But they soon took to social media to hail Bayern after their gesture as they gushed over the move. Elsewhere, Manchester United's Champions League exit is bad news for all of England's clubs, and it could potentially get worse. United finished bottom of Group A, with FC Copenhagen ending at second, while Galatasaray finished third to drop down into the Europa League. And if Newcastle join them tomorrow by failing to make it out of the group stage when they face AC Milan, then the Premier League is at serious risk of missing out on an extra Champions League place next season. The group stages will change next term due to the introduction of a Swiss-style format, with four additional teams being added to take the number of clubs competing to 36. UEFA will award two of the extra four places to the countries who have collectively performed best in Europe during the previous season. That is worked out by UEFA's association club coefficient table, 
and an average score being produced by dividing the total number of points won throughout the year by the number of its clubs that were involved. Points are awarded for wins in the group stage and participation in the round of 16. If this was applied last season, then England would have finished in the top two, along with the Netherlands, as the Premier League's coefficient was boosted by Manchester City, lifting the Champions League and West Ham's Europa Conference League success. There were eight Premier League teams competing in Europe during this season, but United's exit and Newcastle's potential elimination could hit England's association club coefficient average again and again. Manchester United hero Louis Saha has praised Harry Maguire after he silenced his critics. Saha told Paddy Power, I think Harry Maguire has silenced his critics and has shown how strong a person he is. He did have some really shocking performances, and he has done really well to recover from it and get himself back to this position. People have recognized that, and he stayed there when people thought he should leave, so that's credit to him. But it's still a long way for the Manchester United backline to get anywhere close to consistent. It's nice to be recognized individually with Player of the Month. But don't get me wrong, I'm very demanding of every United player, and the team should not be happy with Maguire's individual award. Maguire's done well recently, along with Alejandro Garnacho with his goals, but I'm asking for more but against Bournemouth, there were 11 players walking back who just accepted Bournemouth's goal. I really respect what Maguire's done in recent weeks, but it's still not good enough as a team. Meanwhile, Manchester United hero Mikael Silvestre insists Stuttgart star Serho Guirassi isn't good enough for his former club, despite scoring a staggering 18 goals in 14 matches this season. Silvestre told BettingExpert.com, No, I don't think Guirassi has the level to play for Man United, so I would go elsewhere in terms of a striker. I think Rasmus Hoyland will succeed at Man United, he just needs a bit more time. The dynamic of the team right now is not great, but I believe he can succeed. On the other side, Manchester United are keeping tabs on Barcelona star Ronald Araujo ahead of the January transfer window. Harry Maguire and Victor Lindelof have featured more often than expected due to injuries to Rafael Varane and Lisandro Martinez this season. So, United are lining up transfer targets for January, which includes Araujo, according to Mundo Deportivo. The same report adds the red of 125,000 of pounds, Devils would be prepared to double the centre-back's wages, which are believed to be in the region of per week. However, it could prove tricky to land the Uruguay International, as Bayern Munich have made him one of their transfer priorities, according to transfer insider Florian Plettenberg, again and again. Manchester United are facing a do-or-die Champions League encounter against Bayern Munich tonight at Old Trafford.